it's Amélie. Today we're going to talk about how to get rid of the air in our sound. That's a question that comes a lot because I think we all want a pure tone. And um, the first thing you have to make sure is that you have the right diagnosis because sometimes we think we, uh, we have air in our sound, but sometimes it's good air. It's the type that makes the sound go uh, fill up rooms, you know. I see a lot of flutists that cover the embouchure hole a lot and they get a little sound, but that little s um, it does sound pure, but it, it doesn't project at all. So I'll give you an example of that, just to make sure you don't go there when you get rid of your, your air. So that little... There's no air, but there's nothing, you know, there's no... Um, the sound is uh, very thin, so you don't want that. So make sure you're not going in that direction to get a tiny sound that doesn't project. Um, now we're going to just have a checklist of what we want to do during those exercises that I'm going to give you. So first uh, we're going to choose our favorite note, the one that you think your sound is best on, and then we're going to go to all the notes. So we're going to go all the way down and try to keep the same sound quality and then take that same note again and go all the way up. But when you do that, I want you to think about focusing the airstream on the embouchure plate like a V, not an open V, like a closed V. Think about uh, not covering the embouchure too much, just one third to one quarter. Very important, try to visualize all the notes under you. Sometimes when we go in the high register, we tend to visualize over us and then we are not, um, the sound becomes like this. You know, it, it's not uh, inside, the air has to go inside the flute, so everything is under you. The low register is at your knees and then middle is around your waist and um, your uh, chest will be around the high register, so that's how it works. And then open everything, open the throat, open the mouth to make it resonate. So I'll pick a note, let's say the um, A flat, okay, I like my A flat, and then you don't have to go uh, very slowly. You can just listen to your sound and go down and then breathe whenever you feel like it. So. so I'll try to keep that in mind and blow exactly the same and keep the same sound, same sound quality. Notice that I don't, I don't lower my head like that when I play in the low register. I still keep it opened, okay? Because if you do that, then you change the whole angle, and that's what exactly we don't want to do. We want to keep the same angle, okay? So now I'm gonna do uh, go up. I take my time to find really the sound that I'm looking for. See now I'm comparing because I thought my C sharp was not as good as my A flat. Now I'm resisting changing everything. I'm trying to keep the same uh, way of blowing the air, not change the angle too much.
Okay, so I think you get the the um, idea behind it to just have a reference note and try to expand and keep that same quality of sound. Once you did that, you can also sing in your flute. So there's a video that I done that's exactly about singing in your flute. You can watch it if you don't know how to sing in your flute. Singing your flute will help you with your sound because it will make you in resonance with your flute because your body will resonate on the same note as your flute. And it's as if you were singing when you play, you mock sing. I'll give you an example of just long notes while singing in my flute. Of course, I give myself the note before I start, so I know which note to sing. I'll go a bit faster so you don't have to wait too long. You see now I changed octave because my voice doesn't go that low. Then I'll try again to play a bit, see if it helped my sound. I think it did, but I, I still try to really do the same thing with my throat as when I was singing. And one of my favorite exercises to help with my sound is harmonics. So harmonics, um, you use a low note and inside that low note are contained higher notes. Uh, for example, on a low C, you have the next C and then the G, the other C, the E and the G, the other G. Um, I'll show you. So I always keep the fingering C, but by blowing differently, I get all those different notes. So I'll show you. So that's the natural sound, the low C. Second C. G. Second, uh, the third uh, C. High E. High G. Okay, you can play it just like that. Maybe at first you might have to play the real note. Just to make sure you're doing the right one because it's a bit um, difficult in the beginning maybe. And then another good way to do it is you do the harmonic and then you go back to the, to the low note. You can practice those harmonics on the low C, low D flat, low D, and low E flat. And then higher than that, it becomes pretty difficult. Try to practice those three exercises I've given you today. And um, please leave in the comments if it was helpful for you or not, and which ones were the most helpful for you, or you can also share your own exercises to make your sound better. And uh, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and see you next time.